This guerrilla marketing campaign video for a new product comes to us from Sweden. I hate to say it, but it was actually quite fun to watch these people get into these quite silly bicycle accidents, but then be safe because they have this perfectly great helmet that saves them every time. Yes, this is the invisible bike helmet. So we travel to Sweden to meet its inventors, Anna and Therese, and ask them what's wrong with traditional helmets. We went out in the city asking people with a questionnaire why they didn't use bicycle helmets and what they wanted in order to start using them. And they asked for something invisible that didn't destroy their hair. So we understood that it has to be something radical. This is the bike helmet I've been waiting for. Having the hair that I have, it's always been a little bit of a problem. If it's keeping people for, uh, from protecting themselves, it's, it's an issue. How do you make a cool looking helmet? Well, let's get rid of the helmet. It's pretty smart. Anna and Therese undertook numerous tests to perfect their helmet. So, how does it work? To sense if you're in a crash situation, there are two micro sensors in there, an accelerometer and a gyrometer. And between the two of them, they can give you a fairly good idea of, of the position and the acceleration that the caller is going through, and then, of course, what the human is going through. So the data from the accelerometer and the gyroscope go to a microprocessor, which has to make the decision of whether or not you're actually in an accident. What they did is they performed thousands of test cases of accidents where they took that data and said, this is an accident. And the processor inside of here is able to compare your real-time situation to all that data and then know if you're actually getting in an accident or not. Now, if the microprocessor determines that, yes, indeed, an accident has happened, what it'll do is it'll trigger the release of helium gas from a compressed gas canister in the neck of the device. And this will cause the inflatable helmet to be filled with helium gas in half a second. People in the airbag industry um, told us that what we were trying to do was impossible. And it was a great feeling to prove them wrong seven years later. <laughs> we asked Hakeem to simulate a bicycle accident. All right, here we go. Okay, that didn't work. I did it! 